Hey guys, I'm Alan. Welcome back to the channel. We're back at my in-laws house again today and I have a lot to show you. It's been about a week since I've been here, but a lot has changed since I've been here. Um, if you're new to this series, my in-laws house was hit by a tornado at the end of 2019 and we're helping them rebuild it and remodel it. Let's go ahead and uh, take a tour. I'll show you everything that's changed. Let's go. We'll start the tour off here in the garage and they got all of the sheetrock done in here, the ceiling and the walls. This wall over here is just going to be kind of a plywood wall that they can hang things on and such. And let's go in the storage room. I haven't actually been in here yet since it's been drywalled. And sorry about the echo, it's really empty in here. So uh, this room is completely drywalled. A little cut out for the vent up there. Then let's go into the main area of the house. So in here we have, uh, this is going to be like the kitchen area. And this is all drywalled. This wall right here is just going to be plywood. It's going to have cabinets on it and also some tile. Uh, but there's not going to be any water in that really. The sink's, the sink's going to be in an island out here. So uh, that's how come there's none of that uh, like green stuff on that wall. Then yeah, here's the living room. Let's just kind of step back, take a overall look. It's kind of dark in here because we don't have any lights <laughs> in here now that the drywall is up. But yeah, this room is ginormous and as you can see they got all the little holes cut out for the lights and also for the uh, vents in here lots of drywall um, so far they've only done just kind of like the initial um, taping i guess you would call it and then just a little bit of mud but they haven't done their haven't done the final mudding job yet Let's go ahead and go back in here in these bedrooms and show you those. Which way should we go? Let's go this way. So this bedroom is all drywall. Ceiling. Closet over there. I also have not been in the bathroom yet. So there's a bathroom right here. This is all drywalled and looks like they've again kind of kind of done the initial taping they haven't mudded all the screw holes yet so they still have some stuff left to do also to be clear they did hire this out we didn't do this because um, it would have taken us forever uh, this is they did this all in about five days so i'd say they probably have i don't know maybe a few days left and they'll be done which is awesome <laughs> yeah so this room's all done and also this bathroom i haven't talked much about this but this is going to have a pocket door so Pocket door will slide in there and go this way. That'll be pretty cool. Oh, and uh, also this little shelf up here that we made a video about. Just kind of show you how that ended up looking like. So there's yeah, just a little drywall shelf that goes all the way around. This is going to be like the living room area. Nice big living room. Good spot for a big TV on that wall. Uh, then this is going to be the dining room area. And then the kitchen with an island. Then this room is going to be like a home office area. And there was a doorway there, and that was like the old utility room that had washer and dryer in there. So we close that up since that's now a bedroom. And yeah, they didn't do a whole lot in here, just kind of patched some sheetrock and uh, also put new sheetrock on the ceiling. But the sheetrock in here was in pretty good shape, so able to keep some of that. And then here's going to be the new area where the washer and dryer is going to be. And Still have a little bit of work to do in here, but they did get all the sheetrock put up. Or most of it, anyway. So as you guys can see right now, it's raining outside. But there is also siding on the outside of the house on two of the walls. Um, so whenever it stops raining, I might try to go out there and show you guys that. But uh, as far as today, I don't know that we're going to film a whole lot. We may do a little bit of stuff, um, but I'll film anything we do. I think we might be doing some insulation and such. But let's get going. It finally stopped raining, so I thought I'd show you guys the outside real quick. So this is all metal siding, and they have this entire side of the house done. And this metal siding will last forever, very very low maintenance. So this side's done. Let's walk around. I'm not sure what all is done. I haven't been here since they worked on it. And they hired someone to do all of this metal as well. So this side of the house looks like it's about halfway done, almost. show you that 
Then let's walk around to the other side of the house. And here's the back side of the house. Just show you that. They also got all of the soffit done. So this area that is you know, under here, that's done all the way around the house. So they don't have a ton left. Um, they have to still do kind of inside this area. You guys can't see that real well, but that all has to be replaced inside there. And as well on uh, some of the back of the house back here. And also on the uh, garage wall, you guys can't see it from here, but on the other side of the garage wall, that has to be finished as well. All right, that's it for our outside tour. So far today, our project has been working on this breaker box. We got a bunch of new wires put in here and everything is kind of wired up now. And we also built this little box that you see that goes around this. Um, and then what we're going to do, they actually have some like dry erase board, like marker board um, type stuff that they're going to attached to this and then that way you know it'll be just be screwed in so anytime you need to get into this breaker box you can just kind of unscrew that and get right in there and this is going to be like i said kind of in the uh, laundry room so you know it's not like in a high visibility area or anything like that so that'll make ease of access easier if you ever have to get in there and do anything with that electrical box i'm just about to leave for today i'm working kind of a short day today but this is the board that we're going to put around that electrical box. So we got it uh, marked out and ready to cut. Derek's going to cut it later after I'm not here. <laughs> um, and on the other side of this, you can kind of see this is basically like a basically like a marker board. And yeah, I'm just kind of reusing this. It needs cleaned off a bit. But that's what that's going to look like. So I think that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. It's just kind of a shorter one. Um, there's not a whole lot to do since they did all of the sheetrock and everything. Um, but we'll be kind of back on this project you know we're going to still have to paint put in flooring cabinets uh, there'll be a lot of finished work after they're done with the sheetrock but thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one